Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. In case you're new, here's the format. We have four questions. That's incorrect. I am screwing up already. We're going to start over. Okay. Wait. No, there's four questions. Yeah, keep it. Oh, there's keep four it. questions. Oh, man, I can't count. I'm uh, your new host for <laughs> Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play with Chachi Says, Riz IUP, and myself, Fuzzwad, the fuzzy guy. I'm the hairiest of the three. Fuzzy. Anyways, the format is we have four questions, one of which is the ever-recurring what are you playing? Because, quite honestly, you know, we want to tell you what we're playing. And we're, yeah, we're like that. Anyways, then we also have two other minor questions, and then the big boss battle at the end. So, to get started with this week's questions, Joshi, what are you playing? Uh, this week I spent a lot of time playing the, uh, last week's challenge, because I was playing it anyhow, um, which was Drug Wars, or, yeah, Drug Wars. Wait, and then, I thought uh, you said Dope Wars. It's the same, same thing. Oh. Um. It's the same drug. It's the same game, essentially. When it, when it boils down to it, it's the same game. Um, yeah, but you're right, I did say Dope Wars. Um. So I, I, I spent a lot of time playing Dope Wars because that's what I was doing anyhow. I played Cut the Rope. I played some uh, Assassin's Creed. I played some Fez. I played some uh, some Hacker Evolution. So, yeah. That's what I played. Riz, what'd you yes. play? Well, last week I did defeat uh, Max Payne 3, finally. So there was that. But right now I'm playing, still playing Fez for the first time around. And a uh, little cool fact about me, I like useless trivia. So I'm playing <laughs> You Don't Know Jack on Facebook. It's on Facebook now? It's on Facebook. That's not going to make me get a Facebook, but that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. Wait, you have a Facebook. I do have a Facebook, but you also notice that the only things I post on Facebook are links to insertcointobegin.com. Good point. I never actually post anything on Facebook. Fuzzy! Hey, I'm playing Forza 4 because a friend of mine from college got a Xbox and Forza uh, yesterday and was just asking me all kinds of questions about it, so I figured, well, the best way to do this is do an Xbox Live party, and then I just talk them through everything. So, been playing a lot of that, and then also uh, Afro Samurai, working on finishing that up. And uh, still playing um, what's it called? Robot Unicorn Attack Evolution. Because <laughs> it, I'm man. confused because I was playing the one time and I got past the gorilla, but instead of going to the saber tooth tiger, it went to a rhino. I have no idea why, oh, but I want to find out. It's like a bonus. It's it like, was like you're so good at this game, we're giving you the rhino! I want the rhino, I want the dragon at the end. <laughs> you're going to keep playing it until you beat it, aren't you? Oh yeah. That stupid little That's the only game. way to play it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have to get them all. All right, and uh, because none of us could think of a, of a challenge for next week, um, <laughs> we got one from a fan, uh, Hot Wheels, a uh, friend of ours and a friend of pretty much everything we do, uh, told us that this week's challenge is going to be Fruit Ninja. So okay. there you have it. Go out, play Fruit Ninja. It's pretty much the same on every platform, so it doesn't matter where you play it. As long as you're using your hands. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to start using your feet or anything. I mean, that would be kind of weird. But... I have a question. Yes, sir. I have a question. Uh, can this also include, uh, there are uh, vegetable ninja kind of ripoffs? No. 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 This has to be the fruit ninja. Right. The fruit ninja. No ripoffs. The, okay. the actual game. Trials. And not the Puss in Boots edition that I got from the Amazon App Store's free app of the day a few months ago. <laughs> 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 right. Not that it just, not that it's not just Fruit Ninja with cat noises in it. <laughs> I kind of want to play that one instead. <laughs> yeah, I want that one. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, there, there's the uh, there's this week's challenge. No, uh, no knockoffs. Uh, Fruit Wars straight or Fruit Ninja straight up. <laughs> I combine I compl I combine Drug Wars and Fruit Ninja and Drug Ninja. So you're oh, making drug. an illegitimate fruit factory. Yes. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa. What just happened? Uh, that was something I accidentally did. Anyhow, uh, that's all for that question. Moving yep. on. 
Um, all right, so uh, Bobby gave us the questions for this week, and I'd like to... I think I should start this one. Go for it. Uh, be, actually, you know what? Go ahead and start it. To, like, give us the question, and then I'm going to interrupt you, because I pointed this out to Sorg earlier, and it was funny. Sure. Go for it. Well, Bobby sent in the question of the favorite fighting game series. Correct. Not the fighting game, just the series. So, and Chachi, you're about to interrupt me in three, two... Uh, I, I have to laugh because you put in what you put in, mm -hmm. and I had that typed, and then I deleted it. Oh. And it was a, a series because they did do more than one. That is true. F FYI. So, go ahead. Uh, <coughs> what is your favorite fighting game series, Riz? Well, I went off the cuff a little bit, like Chachi was going to do, then he backed out. But I did Clay Fighter. If you don't know what Clay Fighter is... Why are you listening to this? <laughs> it's one of the best games, fighting games I've played. And it introduced me to, uh, let's see, what was it? Blue, was it Goose Wade Shoes? Yes. Uh, Mr. Frosty? Yes. Let's see, mm -hmm. who else? Um, I can go on and on. It, it, it also brought in two characters that I've played with in a lot, like, I have played with in series in, in other series, uh, Booger Man. Yes. And Earthworm Jim. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but, in in case you are unfamiliar and like Riz said, you really shouldn't be if you're listening to this. Yes. Um, but Clay Fighters is a fighting game in which your characters are made out of clay. It's a claymation fighting game. You start like off a, as a ball of clay. You form your character. You fight. And it was actually a, made from physical clay characters. Yes. Yeah. And it's pretty much a ripoff of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. They have clay talities, uh, instead of blood, clay's flying off, different mm -hmm. uh, things fly off pe other different people. It's, it's one of the better games I've played when I was a young kid. I would like to point out that Clay Fighters did not make G4's top 100 games of all time. <laughs> That's low There's crap. something wrong with the g um, and uh, it, Fuzz, Fuzzy and I both picked the same series, so I'll let him start, but uh, go for it. Mortal Kombat. The, whenever, whenever I hear a fighting game, like just the genre, that's what I think of. I think of Scorpion, I think of Sub-Zero, I think of Liu Kang, I think of all the characters, because I've, that was one of the first games I ever played. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 was actually the second game I got whenever I got my Super Nintendo uh, back whenever in the 90s that was. And I've just grown up always playing the Mortal Kombat series. And it's just a fantastic series. And the latest game, like I've said before on here, is just just a tour de force of everything that is Mortal Kombat tying in the storyline with the best gameplay the series has ever seen, great new features, just excellent. All right. Yeah. Um I have to agree. Um, Mortal Kombat it, it opened uh, new doors as far as fighting games goes for video games. Um, because, I mean, there's always been fighting games, uh, even if you count, like, wrestling games. I mean, there's always been those types of games all the way back to pro wrestling for the Nintendo and uh, boxing and all of that. Um, but it, it wasn't until Mortal Kombat where they took... Uh, visual violence, like graphic violence to a whole new level and gave us a reason to actually fight instead of just uh, who would win in a fight, Ryu or Ken. <clears throat> Which, I mean, don't get me wrong, Street Fighter, the Street Fighter series has earned its dues and it's an amazing series. So is Marvel vs. Capcom and all of that. But it's not, it's not Mortal Kombat, nor will it ever be Mortal Kombat. So, I, I mean, I don't know how many days I spent playing Mortal Kombat 3, sitting there going through character and character, doing all of the, the fatalities, uh, the friendships, uh, the beastalities, and all of that. Just fatalities? So, yeah, just so I could see the pointless violence of that game. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, but yeah, that, that's exactly how it is with me in the new one. Like, I'll just sit down and I'll just go through, see about doing all the different combos, all the different fatalities, just 
everything about it is just it's captivating in a kind of sick and twisted way. Exactly. Um, I almost said Street Fighter just because I want to hear the Guile theme. <laughs> no. I'm just pointing that out there. I just want to point that out there, but we can go on. But even in movie realms. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> the, was... the better movie was Mortal Kombat. Because uh, it had more to go on. It was it wasn't just a random group of characters fighting evil. It was a random group of characters violently fighting evil for their lives. But for Street Fighter, one of those random characters <laughs> was John Claude Van Damme. Alright, that's all we got for that question. Yep. Alright, um this one actually came uh I'm going to go ahead and guess, but it, it came uh, from the post that Fuzz did today on Insert Coin to Begin, and it was a post on uh, the average uh, video gamer is spending per year on games, which was around like $530 US per year. Actually, the uh, conversion came out to 524 which is the day I met my fiance, oddly oh, enough. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, five, 524 Um so, uh, Bobby wanted to know, uh, how much do we spend on games? Go ahead, Fuzz. Uh, for me, I'm actually, I was thinking about the games that I got last year. Last year, I did get more games than usual just because I got a whole bunch for Christmas. So I kind of included those in the total that went towards me and my video game expenditures, whether it was me paying for them or, you know, parents or fiance or whoever as gifts. But yeah, I come in right around that. Uh, like 500, 550 average, just because between new games that uh, come out always at the sixty dollar price point, and then the thing, the thing that really got me whenever I started to think about it is the downloadable content, especially because I'm a huge racing game fan. So I play Forza every month. They come out with a car pack that's eight hundred Xbox points. So every month I'm there getting the new car pack just because. It's going to have something that I want to play in it. So I just dump a lot of money into uh, the downloadable content then, too. So between the DLC and the games themselves, and then the Xbox Live membership on top of that. And, yeah, I come in probably right around that 500 550 Riz? Well, like you said, the DLC is what get me. But with the games I have, like Mass Effect, Mass Effect 3 and all that stuff, it comes with the purchase of the game. So it's not really an extra cost. It's a free DLC. But also I put in the, uh, let's see, Minecraft that I've just bought. Uh, by the way, it's it's sickening how addicting that thing is. <laughs> um, and Gotham City Imposters, which I need to get back on. Yeah. Uh, it boils down to I, i'm not gonna say i spend 500 plus dollars on games but in a year but i do hover around that maybe so yeah uh, in the uh the google doc all I, all i did was i i had just put in capital letters a lot and there's a reason for that because it doesn't go into and I don't think the article does either, but it doesn't go into specifics on uh, what it means by gaming. I mean, I buy a lot of board games. I buy a lot of card games. I mean, nothing like on a, on a Magic the Gathering level, but I mean like Munchkin. Those are uh, like $15, $20 a pop. And I mean, it, it's just one of those things where if you add it all up, not to mention the fact that like it so i mean if you count those the total is is up there um but if you if you just break down video games i mean you got to look at the fact that i i'm building a nintendo collection that stuff isn't cheap that adds up after a while i i mean instead of going to buy a new game for the xbox every once in a while i'll go in and buy a handful of nintendo games and come out spending just as much so i i mean i i think easily um i i'm up 
around the average at, at 524, 550, maybe even above average at, at coming in, like, even in the 600s. Um, after, like, downloadable content and all of that stuff. Uh, and honestly, I don't feel bad about it. Hmm. I, I pay my bills. I work for a living. This is my time. I don't have kids. Preach. <laughs> I mean, this is this is me. I don't feel bad about that at all. I I mean, maybe if I had a, a little bit more responsibility, like if I had a child or I had more bills to be paid, then I would start to feel bad about that. But as of right now, no. Chachi, I see you've, you have a child. You probably buy video games for him. Oh her. yeah, hell yeah. yeah without a, without a doubt, I, I Disney, and it's something. Uh, it's something that was ingrained in me as a child. Mm-hmm. Um, at five years old, I was playing. Um, I, I was playing Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo, because it was there. That's what my dad did. Uh, and my dad and I played video games all the way up until Super Nintendo. At which point, the N sixty four came out, and he said, "You know what? There's way too many buttons there. Screw that." <laughs> But I, I mean, seriously, I remember being a teenager getting pissed off at my dad because he would go out and buy a new RPG and then hide that bitch. <laughs> because he thought I was going to erase the game he, he had played or was in the process of playing. So, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I don't even even if I had a kid of age, like uh, an older age that would sit there and play video games. Nah, six hundred dollars. Not really all that much in a. uh if you break it down per year. Yeah. Because, I mean, $600, that, that's less than... And if you're talking about uh, just new games, like for Xbox, that's less than 10 games a year. I mean, that's not even including downloadable content or anything. So, yep. I went long on that one. <laughs> All right, uh, and uh, it is now time for the boss fight. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Favorite boss battle of all time. <laughs> Go ahead, Fuzz. Okay. Um, it's funny that it's of all time because this is one that I actually did two days ago. Um, like I said, I'm, I've been playing Afro Samurai, and uh, prior to playing the game, I had actually watched the movie that came out uh, alongside the game. Um, but... In both the game and the movie, there comes a point where the uh, the bad guys, the Empty Seven, create a doppelganger cyborg robot of Afro Samurai and need to fight against him. He has all of the exact same skills as you and almost mirrors you. And I'm not sure exactly how they have it set up that he works, but the combos that you'd normally use just to take out your average run-of-the-mill baddie, they don't work on him. It forces you to think almost like you are fighting yourself and you need to outthink yourself. And it's just a really interesting fight. And just a cool uh, story point, too. So it's like Shadow Link. I guess. I don't know. Never played Zelda. Don't hurt me. No, nah, that's okay. I won't hold it against you. <sighs> he will. That's my disappointed noise. Yeah, that, the other the other one will. I, I won't, though, Fuzz. <laughs> We're all human. We all make mistakes. Yeah, you can't. You can't play it. <laughs> you, you can't play every video game out there, no matter how hard you try. Nope. Time and money just won't let you. Yep. And we, um, can't, and we can't all tattoo a video game to our hand. Hey, you know what? I'm dedicated. Yep. I say, I, I've played my Zelda. <laughs> I still play my Zelda. <laughs> I have the map hanging on my wall. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how many times I'll play that. I will never memorize my way around that mm. crap. All right, Riz. Yes. I mentioned this before. I... Conker's Bad Fur Day is one of the best games. The best games for the Nintendo 64. And the best boss I, I ever fought was a giant pile of shit. <laughs> the great... Mighty Poo. I'm not making this up. Oh, I it's, believe it's you. It's spelled P-O-O. Not like a Japanese hentai type thing. It's the great Mighty Poo, <laughs> and he's going to throw his shit at you. 
but the way to beat this boss is to throw giant pieces of corn in his mouth and make him choke on it. So, and because you know, corn doesn't dissolve. Yeah. <laughs> or a- he will literally throw crap at you the entire time. That's amazing. Yeah, that is. And the um, way to finally beat him is to flush him down a giant toilet. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. Um, Alright, yeah. uh, mine, uh, I actually put two. Um, Cheater. Yeah, you know what? Suck it. Ganon. <laughs> uh, Ganon. Because no matter how many times it happens, it doesn't matter on what platform, it doesn't matter which game, uh, there's nothing more satisfying in a video game than going and beating Ganon. Because after the time you put in on uh, a Legend of Zelda game, when you get to the end, it, it, it's your reward. Uh, it Not many video games have that reward. Um, you, you get there, you beat the bad guy, and you're like, eh. Um, Legend of Zelda will always be one of those games where... You truly feel like you put in the work, and you accomplish something when you brand it, you beat the bad guy and banished him from the world that you just saved. So I mean, there's that. And then the other, the other one I put in there um, is along the lines, uh, the same lines, is uh, Sephiroth or the weapons from Final Fantasy VII. Um, Sephiroth, because it, it brings conclusion to the story after a long, long, long game. And then uh, the weapons is more for material good. Like, you, you, so you spend so much time fighting these guys, and, and you, fight, you feel like you got your reward that'll help you later on in the game. So, those were my answers. You actually had three there, Chachi. Well, I was looking at it from games. That's okay. Uh, I'll let you slide there, Chuck. Right. And then uh, you from own the, the place. And let's uh, we got some time, so let's go to the chat room and see what these people have had to say all night. Since I I wouldn't want you to read Bobby's though. Um, uh, Bobby answered. Uh, Soul Calibur uh, brought up Eternal Champions for fighting games. Um, Zero 2K brought up uh, JoJo Bizarre Adventure. Clay Fighters uh, was a great game and said that uh, Street Fighter is a given. Um, and then Bobby said Darkstalkers, also purely based on the characters and design of the characters. Um, and Hayforn said Virtual Fighter. Wheel said he spends around $150 depending on the game. And. Uh, Captain Brad brought up the fact that uh, we mentioned that I mentioned something that was on uh, or not being on G Force Top 100, and he said he personally had a hard time watching the show based on the fact that it mm-hmm. seemed thrown together and no criteria. And he said World of Warcraft being number ten and Asteroids being number four, he doesn't see a common lead in there. Um, let's see. Uh, Bobby responded that they did it based on surveys, which is true, and then said that. Uh, uh, his favorite ending would be Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, which is also what other people said. And then, um... God damn you, Bobby. <laughs> he said Siri, or er, Sin from uh, Final Fantasy X also, uh, and Wart from Mario 2. Um, to go back to, because we still have we have a little bit of time, so I'll pokey, make this... Pokey panic! Yeah, I, I'll, I will make this quick. Um, I actually have... <laughs> the, top, the, the top 100 list uh, from the G4 survey thanks to uh, Chris Bunyi who is a fan of the site and uh, what we do um, first off Bioshock was number 3 alright no, no and it's Pong not- Pong was number 100 no I have a huge fucking problem with that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and all right. Um and I I I have to disagree with uh Captain Brad a little bit. Um 
I have no issue with World of Warcraft being number 10 on this list. Um, World of Warcraft did things that no other video game had successfully done to the level that World, World of Warcraft did for PC gaming, for MMOs. I, I mean, even to this day, with drop in players and expansion packs, they're still managing to do amazing things. Mm. So I can't... I, you can, uh, hey, Forn in the chat room said EverQuest greater than World of Warcraft. I can't agree with you there. I'm sorry. Um, World of Warcraft continues to improve constantly, while EverQuest, to me, just stayed the same. Um, as far as graphics and everything. Um, but World of Warcraft broke records that EverQuest could have never even seen. So I, I, I can agree with World of Warcraft. Uh, being at number 10. Um, but, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff on this list that shouldn't be here mm. at all. Um, let's see if I can find them rather quickly. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is on this list. Yeah. Like, nah. Maybe, no. I, 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 tr I tried finding something there, but no. I, I used to play those games a lot. They were a lot of fun. I enjoyed those. But uh, I wouldn't consider them the 100 greatest games of, ever. Yeah, of all time. Yeah, I, I can't see it being of all time. Okay. It's, Fine. Okay, all right, all right, fine. Fine. <laughs> um, we Sports? Yeah. Really? It was revolutionary, but it, yeah, it shouldn't yeah, be that, that's higher the, than That's why I'd put it on there, is because it's revolutionary, it was different, and, yeah. <sighs> yeah you guys. It, it, created, it created a new genre, even if you hate moving when you're playing your games. Fine. You're fine. <clears throat> Words with friends. No. no. That should not be on the list at all. Okay. I am sorry. It's a good game, but it's not a game that you have on a console like this. It's a con it's a it's a mobile game. That, that, mobile that, yeah, that's at the point where you're putting uh, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors as one of the best <laughs> games and, of all time. I mean yes, Farmville's <laughs> somewhere on that list. No, actually it's not, but Angry Birds is. <laughs> Angry Birds, I can see being on there because that is a legitimate game. Right. <laughs> Words with friends, no. It's Scrabble! Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. It's Scrabble. Oh, it's man. What's that? It's game show yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Sorg said that it has a game show now. I, I, I still don't, I don't care. care. No. Um, yeah. I, you know, other than a, a few games on here that I don't think should be on here, um, it's more an, or, an issue of order for me. That's, um, yeah, that's I what I heard a lot of people who were watching that uh, were were saying that it's just it I just said, seemed random. Yeah, like it, it was, was the top one hundred games uh, in no particular order. Yes. That that's what a lot of people were saying that it seemed like because it was. Also, um, can I point out that Mega Man Two is all the way down here at number seventy three? That that's what made me want to throw my control my. Uh, Remote it wasn't even something. in the top 50. So... Mega Man 2. Don't, don't tell Portal Mega 2 Man 2 wasn't that. on the list? No, Portal 2 wasn't on the list. Mass Effect 2 was, though, so that should bring you some... Mass Effect 2 was good. I did, I did agree with Mass Effect 2. What about... Um, I, I'm only just getting to look at the list now. Were uh, Forza or Gran Turismo on either of those? Uh, let me give it a quick look as we wrap up. Uh, let's see... Excite Bike was. Yeah, Excite Bike was. Once again, up, up in the top twenty, like top, from. Uh, no, they're not on here. Yeah, so that's a lot I of mean, crap because th those two are, are doing huge, vast improvements with every new release. Like they're getting down to the point where Forza is analyzing how different zones of a tire wears. Right. So that, like even just down to that little bit, even though most people aren't even going to notice that you're starting to lose a little bit of tread on the outside on this tire, like 
it's ridiculous the detail that they're going to with those games. So they definitely deserve a spot on there. Uh, hey, Foreign brings up a great point. It says, uh, this list sounds like it's from the games, the genre of people who have re- recently be- been introduced to the idea that video gaming is cool, and it doesn't actually speak to people like us who have been playing since the early 90s, late 80s. So, yep. Uh, I mean, you can look at it from that way. I still don't agree with it, and G4 definitely lost nerd points in my in my book. I stopped at 50. Um, yeah, I didn't even watch the, the, the series because I, I, I turned it on for a little bit and I got so angry that I wanted to punch my TV mm-hmm. trying to hit someone that was talking about a game that shouldn't have been where it was. So yeah. I, I just turned it on. Um, that's all the time that we have for you this week. Um, so uh, thank you for joining us. Thanks to the chat room. Uh, remember, this week's challenge is to play Fruit Ninja. Come back next week and let us know uh, what you thought and if it was worth your time. Uh, otherwise, join us next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. This is Chachi for Fuzzy and Riz and Insert Coin to Begin dot com. Insert Coin to presents. Insert Coin to Begin presents. Let's play episode three. We'll see you next week. Game on, guys.